Welcome to Art Happy with Katie. Today we're going to do a sidewalk chalk giraffe. You need a sidewalk, sidewalk chalks, a bucket of water, and some old paint brushes. So I'm going to start mine by doing a, oops, the chalk breaks, a line going down here and a line going down here. Together they form a U shape. I'm going to do a U shape up here and a U shape here. The reason why I did in two is because sometimes it's hard to pull up when you're doing a sidewalk chalk. So I tried to make all my strokes pulling down. Now I've got two circles and, two, and lines coming out. That's for the little horns. Now in this part, I'm going to do a line coming down. And next to it, I'm going to do a parallel line for most of it. And then it's going to come out a little bit for the body. Okay. Now I'm gonna come over here for the body. I'm gonna do a straight line and then sort of a C shape at the end. And I'm gonna draw the legs. The legs are gonna come, oops, I need to come down a little bit. Then have some legs coming out here, going down. This one I'll make straight. Coming out here, going down. This giraffe's got two legs bent and two legs straight. Now I'm going to make the tail. It's got kind of a line coming down there. And I'm going to draw the face. For the face, I'm going to do two circles. And I'm going to make it looking over here. And then I've got two dots here for the nose. And little uh, C shapes for the nostrils. And then a smiley face. Okay, now the next thing giraffes need are dots. So they have big, long um, markings. They're not tiny dots, so I'm drawing them like that. Sometimes they're kind of angular. And maybe I'll put one on the ear. Now, now I've got a lot of coloring in. So I'm gonna get sort of yellowish color and I'm gonna do some coloring in. Now when I'm doing this, sometimes my arm gets tired because it's so much coloring. So what I'm gonna do is my little trick is I get some water and some old paint brushes. And I use these old paint brushes to spread some of my sidewalk chalk. And this way it uses a little bit less sidewalk chalk. And it goes a little bit faster and it gets it nice and smooth. I call this the water technique. And you might have to go out a little more here. My daughter likes to make a little paste out of it, but I have not tried it myself. There you go. And I'm gonna color in my dots. Right, you can see the brown, if the brown's so good. And you can blend colors. You can have one color on top of each other. You can keep stacking them and they'll look really nice. They get darker when they're wet and then they lighten up a little bit as they dry. Just smear those around. And you can use small brushes too for the details, um, but just don't use your favorite brushes because especially if the ground is kind of um, a rough like this is here at my house, it um, it can make your, your brushes kind of graded up and get yucky. So don't use your favorite paint brushes that you want to use for your watercolors or anything on here because it might mess them up.
Thanks for watching. Art Happy with Katie. Subscribe and we'll see you next time.